What's cracking y'all? So today we back. We are about to place a little porch. We got a little brick porch that used to be here. See, it's already demoed. It's old as hell. We got some water damage back there over the, underneath them shingles. We're gonna move all that out of the way. We got some wood to repair. Place the seal plate in here. Just there's some joists. Put a new rim joist on here. Then we're gonna start building our little deck. We're about to get straight to it. Start ripping this stuff out. I'm about to start putting my holes in right here where my post gonna go because this is gonna be a small porch. Start getting to work. All right, I got the hose dug. Hose as straight as possible. Um, these boys got some terrible wood. Well, I'd say, nah, I just gotta pour the water in there and then mix it up and it'll be Gucci. And here, I'm about to start with this wood. I'm about to pull this old crap off, slide the new pieces in, and get ready to build the rest of the deck. See somebody replace a seal plate like this. It ain't cut. You get the saws on there. Cut that. So after cutting that little piece off, it slid in there nice and smooth. Time for the rim joists. Make sure you find your crown before you put the joist on. You want it going inwards, not outwards. So we're about to mark our studs on top of the seal plate because our rim joist right here is gonna be sitting on top of the seal plate to give it that flush finish. Then we're gonna rip this board down to the right measurement and sit it on top so it can be nice and snug. Seven. So of course my phone died before we got the video actually installing the rim joist on there, but it's real simple. Crown in, put your nails or your screws in, and you're good to go. Phone died. Wasn't able to get the video I wanted to be getting, but everything looked good. We got the joist in, put these rim joists on first, then went ahead and put the joist in the middle, 16 inches on center, and then I cut a two by four in half, made these spindles out, two by four at the top, two by four at the bottom and then we screw these to the two by fours for the railing the same thing there what i did up against the house here is i put some blocking in in between the side and instead of smashing like this side and down just put it in between this piece of two by four here it'll be nice and straight i ran this all the way to the ground when i screwed to it just so if anybody want to lean against this it'll be putting the pressure down on the porch instead of like pulling it away from the house. About done now, all we need now is six more pieces of deck board, a couple more bags of concrete. I like to fill it all the way up with concrete because usually where it rot at is where the dirt and stuff be at and it gets the wood. That's where it rot. You bring up concrete all the way to the top, you ain't gotta worry about it. That's just what I think. Yeah, and then we gotta finish off the stairs. We're gonna have to get a two by 12 so that I can sit against there. That'll be about it after we create the railing. I gotta put another post right there. Throw that joint on there tomorrow. Quick break from the project just to make some extra bread and then have to make this bread go back and spin it over there at the project on to the next day and we're gonna finish this up all right and we are all done your boy got them skills i ain't gonna lie everything nice and solid no shimmy shake shake and no swing you want to move left to right make sure your deck straight make sure it ain't moving quick little project okay, so we all set man thanks for checking out the video definitely look better than what was there like share comment and subscribe you know what i'm saying go ahead and drop a comment down below let us know what you would have did differently with this deck i think it's fine and the perfect size let's get it we gone